And let's continue where we left off. The first thing I want to do is I want to show you this transform or remind you of this transform. Thanks, Bren, by the way, for showing us that. One of my students gave me that little trick. So, oh, excuse me, not a pie game. What is it again, Bren? Um, it, it so it is a pie game dot transform dot scale. And then I'm going to tell it what to transform. I'm going to transform the target surface. Okay, and I'm going to make it, uh, let's see, mine I think was 17 by 30. And I'm just going to make them 20 by 20 so I have an exact size of it. Close the extra parenthesis there. Okay, and now let's make the actual target move across the screen. We're going to use a simple little move in place command. So we're going to use the pi game, or excuse me, um, what's the name of our target? Target pause. So target position it is going to be incremented by doing a, uh, not equal, a dot move, okay, M score IP. And before, or yesterday, last time we did this, we had this go like 2 comma 0 to make it move horizontally to make it move horizontally. I can get my parentheses right, not brackets there. So 2 comma 0 so that the thing will go horizontally across the screen. Um, well, what happens now is, is I'm going to need to make this reverse its direction when it hits the end of the screen. So I don't want to use 2 comma 0 here. So if you have 2 comma 0 in there, take it out and let's put in a variable called speed and then come up here and make some room and let's actually initialize the variable speed okay and so I'm going to say speed is the same value put it in an array so bracket 2 comma 0 what this allows me to do then is as it moves across the screen okay and this is going to increment the position or um, by whatever the speed variable is which is up here and now down below, I can run an if statement saying, hey, if I get too far x across the screen, x, y is across the screen, so if I get 600 pixels across the screen, because that's the width up here, okay, um, so I will then have it, the speed turn to negative. And if the speed turns to negative, it will then be subtracting x coordinates and re to the screen. Does that make sense? So I'm going to say if, and this is why I use the width up above, if your speed, not your whole entire speed array, which is x and y, but just your first entry in speed, which is the x change. So I use a bracket 0. So this is calling out the 0 or the first element of the array in speed. And I'm going to say, hey, if you go greater than the width, whatever we've decided the width to be, if you go greater than the width, okay, you need to reverse the speed. You need to do an opposite. So this is easy. We go speed, the first element in it, or the zero element in it, is equal to the negative of the speed at that ele of, of the first element. Okay, and now this will make it basically reverse directions at the uh, edge of the screen and bounce back and move to the left. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to run it to see if that works. Okay, and I know you didn't get that typed in, so you will in a second. So it bounces and it didn't bounce back. Huh. So let me see what happened. Look. Okay, and don't worry about this command here. This command is that we just quit the surface. Okay, and let's see what I did wrong. I got speed is equal to 2 comma 0. Uh, that is actually the subtraction sign right there, so it should make it opposite of it. And so if the speed sub zero increases all the way to the point, oh, 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 it's not my speed I'm really doing here, is it? It's not that, it's my target position. I'm sorry about that. Target position. So it's my target position. So the x coordinate of the target position greater than the width, which is 600 up here. Okay, and the width right there, 
then we will reverse it. That was the mistake. Save. F5 to run. And please bounce back. Boom, it bounced back. Perfect. Now, it still is going into the negative numbers on the x-axis. So, okay, so let me just get it the, the reverse going on. Let me close the screen. I've got an extra shell going on here. Okay, let me just do the other part of it, and then I'll be able to help people and fix any little problems out there in the audience right now. Put a for statement here. Whoops. Put a for statement. If I say error, that means either this or that. If any one of these things is true, it's going to reverse the speed. So what I want to say is I want to say, hey, if the target position, okay, the x element of it, which is the zero element of it, whoops, bracket, okay, if the target position goes smaller than zero, less than zero, then also, same command, do the opposite speed. So if it is negative to coming into this moment, then it hits it. What's negative of negative 2? Positive 2. So then it all of a sudden will change the speed to be a positive x incrementing by 2. I'm going to save this, and I'm going to run it, and hopefully it bounces back both ways. There's one bounce, and there's the other bounce. So now we've got part 2 of this game done.